Hi, my name is Chris Addig with the Veterans Law Blog. At the Veterans Law Blog, I pride myself on teaching what others keep a secret about the VA claims process. But don't believe me. Here's what Vietnam veteran Eddie T said about our daily blog, our 10 VA field manuals, and our hours of video training. He said, Chris, I'm a 100% Vietnam combat veteran who has had the good fortune of working for the VA in the capacities of an adjudication clerk, a claims development, and three years of training as an adjudicator. It has always intrigued me how lawyers win VA claims for veterans when we fail to do so. After watching the Veterans Law Blog, I now have that answer. That's pretty high praise coming from uh, inside the VA. And it tells you that what I teach at the Veterans Law Blog is working for veterans like you that are battling the VA every single day. One of the things that I've taught at the Veterans Law Blog for over eight years are my eight steps to improve VA disability claims. After I talk you through those eight steps, I'm gonna tell you about two of my most popular training videos and where you can get them. But let's go ahead and jump right into my eight steps to improve your VA claim or disability. Do you know what's tougher than the VA? Everything. I simply refuse to believe that we could force our minds and our bodies to do the things that you and I did in our military service, but we can't get our VA claim granted the way we believe it should be. Did you crawl through the mud under AK-47 covering fire and incoming mortars to find a better shooting position? If so, you can beat the VA. Did you jump out of an airplane and have your parachute collapse? If so, you can beat the VA. Did you survive two years of 120 degree days and 80 degree nights in Iraq living under constant threat of IEDs and mortar attacks? If so, you can beat the VA. I do believe, however, that we must approach our VA disability claims and appeals with the same discipline, the same grit, and the same professionalism as we approached everything in our military career. I found eight distinct patterns in VA disability claims. I've been representing veterans in this process for over eight years, since 2007. During that time, I've looked at hundreds, if not thousands, of VA claims files, or C files. And while looking through those C files, I began to see a whole lot of patterns. I saw patterns why the VA acted in certain ways. I saw patterns of problems in claim filings committed by veterans. And I saw patterns of evidence in certain types of claims. I found eight patterns that were so common, it was hard to ignore the impact that they had on a VA claims outcome or timeline. I realized that veterans that engaged in behaviors that broke up more of those eight patterns had completely different experiences with the VA disability claims process. In fact, a large percentage of the people that followed the steps to break those eight patterns, what I call the eight steps to improve your VA disability claim, turned out to have very different outcomes and timelines in their own claims and appeals. So I also tested these eight patterns and the eight steps in my firm's VA disability claims. When my team followed all eight steps religiously, we achieved faster and more satisfactory outcomes from the VA. Now, I don't want to mislead you. The VA still took a long time. But instead of taking three years for the VA to get you a decision, we received many decisions in under a year. In a few cases, we even received decisions in under 90 days. Now, the VA still made a lot of mistakes in their VA disability claims and appeals, even when we followed these eight steps, but their errors were fewer, their errors were smaller, and their errors were easier to overcome. The results in my firm were shocking enough that I decided to share my experience a few years back with veterans like you on the Veterans Law Blog. And so now I want to walk through the eight steps that you can take to improve your VA claim. The first step, you, the veteran, have to see the solution. The VA may be the problem, the VA is the problem, but I promise you Congress isn't the solution. Congress is like nipples on a man. We would look weird without them, but they're largely useless. The VA isn't the solution either. For over a hundred years, the VA has failed to create its own solutions. VSOs, other people, probably not the solution either. You know who is the solution? You. When you realize that you have more power in your VA claim than you think, when you realize you have more power in your VA claim than others tell you that you do, you've taken the first step in improving your own VA disability claim. The step two, I want you to get your VA claims file. The VA claims file or the C file is the most important document in your entire VA disability claim. 
oftentimes the reason that the VA is denying your disability claim is in your C file. Go out and get your VA C file now. Don't wait another day. Follow the link that's on your screen to find out the method that my law firm uses to get veterans C files from the VA. Step number three, learn the law. You don't need to become a lawyer. Frankly, I'm not even going to suggest that anybody put themselves through the three years of hell that's law school or the three days of hell that's the bar exam. But you do need to have a basic understanding of some of the most basic law that comes into a play in a VA disability claim or appeal. So read the Veterans Law Blog. Visit sites like Hadit.com. Check out my 10 Cases Field Manual where I walk you through the 10 cases that I think every veteran should know about. I'm going to teach you how to use the law in those cases to help your own VA disability claim or appeal. Check out my TDIU Field Manual. If you have a TDIU claim, a claim for total disability based on individual unemployability. Understanding how the VA looks at evidence and arguments in TDIU claims can change how the VA treats your claim. If you have a sleep apnea claim or appeal, you can learn more about how to prove and win your own VA sleep apnea claim instead of being denied service connection for the sleep apnea that's related to your military service. You can win and move on with your life. Step number four, I want you to build what are called the four pillars. Now, the four pillars is adding language. Nobody else is going to use that term. You call up the VA and you talk about the four pillars, they're going to ask you what movie you heard that from. The four pillars need to be built in nearly every single VA disability claim for service connection. Those four pillars are eligibility, service connection, impairment rating, and effective date. Of those four pillars, the most important pillar is service connection. The pattern that I saw most frequently in VA disability claims that were failing or were getting denied was that the veteran did not know or did not assert the five paths to service connection. Far too many veterans rely on just one of the legal theories of service connection when there are many, many paths that they can follow to prove the same condition. In my VA service connection field manual, I teach veterans all five paths and I will teach you how to best use all five paths in your VA claims. Step number five, I want you to use five-star evidence. Now, that's another adding term. Nobody else uses the term five-star evidence. But next to not getting a C file, using bad evidence or the wrong evidence in your VA claim is the single worst thing you can do. Most veterans that had problems with the VA treated evidence like this. They hit all the evidence in a big haystack and then griped at the VA for not finding the needle. In other words, they shuffled off a whole bunch of paper to the VA without pointing out exactly what the VA needed to look at. Now, I believe that to successfully prove your VA claim or appeal, you will need to learn and use what I call five-star evidence. Nobody else teaches those five stars of ever evidence, and nobody else but the Veterans Law Blog is going to teach you how to use those five stars. Now, in addition to the five stars, there's two types of evidence that you need to prevail. You need lay evidence and you need medical evidence. Think of lay evidence as the bullet and medical evidence as the rifle that fires that bullet. Take a look at my Veterans Law Field Manual, the VA Claims Evidence Field Manual. And I'm going to teach you the basics of using both lay and medical evidence and how to build five-star evidence into your VA disability claim or appeal. The sixth step, I want you to choose the battlefield. Many veterans think of the VA claims process as a hamster wheel, and, and uh, they're not entirely wrong. It's an endless circle of claims and denials and remands and denial and remand and delay and denial and remand, and they never get anywhere. But if we change the way we think about it and don't think about it as a wheel and start thinking about this process as a ladder, then we can climb out of that pit of despair. When we understand the VA claims process and how it works, we can choose our battlefield. And when any of you who have served in the uh, ground forces in the military, the Army or Marines, uh, if you're an Air Force person that happened to get trapped on the ground, you knew that choosing the battlefield is one of the single greatest indicators of success. If your enemy chooses the battlefield, you're at a disadvantage. If you choose the battlefield, you know the terrain. You know what's going on. You can manipulate the situation better. Same thing in a VA claim. If you choose the battlefield, do you fight at the regional office? Do you fight at the board? Do you fight at the court? These are things that you have to know. Certain battles, like effective date battles and impairment rating issues, can't be easily won at the VA regional office. 
they're better fought at the Board of Veterans' Appeals. Other battles still need to be fought at the Veterans Court. There are things that are never going to happen at the regional office without a remand order from the court saying do X, Y, and Z. It's just a fact of life. But knowing that about the VA claims process allows you, the veteran, to find a way out. By understanding the VA claims process better, you can choose to stop fighting at the wrong level of the VA and push your claim into the form where it's most likely to get granted or most likely to get postured more favorably for a grant. Step number seven, protect survivors and dependents. One out of the three cases that my law firm handles are for surviving spouses of veterans that died while their claim or appeal was pending at the VA. There are some things that veterans need to do now to protect your surviving spouses, to protect your dependents in the event that you pass away while your VA disability claim is pending. Preparing your claim for your survivor's DIC claim or dependency indemnity compensation or preparing your claim for your survivor's accrued benefits or substitution appeal is something that you can start doing now. Believe me, it will make things so much easier for your surviving spouse to recover DIC or accrued benefits if the VA does not grant your claim before you pass away, if you do certain things in your claim now. The eighth step, choose your representative wisely. The Veterans Law Blog is designed for veterans that want to do their own VA claim or appeal, all on their own. You can check out thousands of posts here on the blog, where I post almost every single weekday on VA disability claims topics. You can take a look at my blog, my books, my training videos, but all of that stuff, it's not the only resource. Talk to other veterans that have been down the road that you've been down before. Talk to veterans on sites like hadit.com. Go visit my friend over at the Ask Nod blog or pop in on Facebook groups like VAislying.com. Not everyone likes to change their own oil. For some folks, removing and cleaning the carburetor on a lawnmower is the last thing they want to spend their Saturday doing. So some of us don't necessarily like being do-it-yourself kind of folks. And sometimes, when we do try to do things ourselves, we just get in over our heads. For folks like that, there's three types of representatives. There's VSOs, and then there's agents and attorneys. VSOs, or Veteran Service Organization Representatives, are groups like the American Legion and the Vietnam Veterans of America. Those are two of my favorites, by the way. There are many, many, many more. Some people will swear by the VFW. Other people think that the DAV is the Arby's of fine dining. For thousands of years, since the birth of this country and before, though, criminals have been allowed to have an attorney, sometimes even a free one, provided for them at the taxpayer's expense. But veterans... We've only been able to hire attorneys to appeal a VA ratings decision since 2007. Think about that for a minute. How ridiculous is that, that the veteran who fought and often bled for this country doesn't have the right to have an attorney of their choice or the representative of their choice in their VA claim? Choosing an attorney, though, choosing the right attorney can be a daunting task. Like anything else, there's good ones and there's bad ones. There's good ones and there's better ones. There's the one that's right for you, and there's the one that's right for your friend, and then there's the one that's wrong for you. There's all different types of attorneys. I want you to use my free ebook, How to Choose an Attorney for Your VA Claim, to help you find the representative of your choice. Because when it comes down to it, choosing a representative in a VA claim or appeal is a very personal decision. If you want to do it yourself, you should be able to, and there's resources available to do that. If you want a VSO to help you, you should be able to do that, and there's a lot of VSOs out there. If you want an attorney to help you, there's a lot of attorneys, over 400 of us out there, that regularly represent veterans battling in their VA claims or appeals, and you should be allowed to have that choice. But whatever choice you make, make your choice wisely. The wrong representative is one of those patterns that can cause a case or a claim or an appeal to stay in the VA hamster wheel for years and years and years. Those are the eight steps, folks. Real simple to lay them out, harder to do them in practice. Pop on the veteranslawblog.org, subscribe by email, and I will start teaching you one by one. I will walk you through each of those steps, and my posts are geared to help you understand how to use those steps better in your claim or appeal. Before I sign off this video, though, I want to tell you about two training videos that are incredibly popular over at the Veterans Law Blog Bookstore. The first one is a streaming video that's available for streaming online called Get to the Point. This 25-minute video is going to give you my five-step method to persuasive writing. I use it in all my cases. I use it for all my clients' appeals. And I'm going to teach you 
how to make your VA claims arguments more persuasive. I'm going to teach you how to give the VA written documents that are more clear and more concise. I'm going to teach you how to use your writing to make the VA want to issue a decision in your VA claim or appeal. I'm going to show you how to outline your writing and the facts that you should add to support your argument. And I'm going to show you how to tell the VA exactly what you want. On top of that, I'm going to give you seven tips for editing your writing that will fix 80% of the problems in your VA claims arguments. Listen, I recognize that writing is not everybody's strong suit. Not everybody is good at writing. It takes a lot of practice to get good at it. But this 25-minute video is going to give you five really quick tools and seven tips for editing that writing that's going to knock out 80% of the problems in your writing. And it's going to make you more persuasive. The second video I want to tell you about is a full-length training video. It's 54 minutes long. I'm going to walk you through how to file and develop your own VA claim. It may be the most information that anyone has ever put together in a single tool on this topic to date. With the purchase of the video, you're going to get the 54-minute streaming video online. I'm going to give you step-by-step -step training on how I file VA claims. I'm going to give you a 57-page workbook with an over a dozen forms, templates, worksheets, and checklists. I'm going to give you my one-of-a-kind VA claims map, and I'm going to give you much more. You can get those videos over at store.veteranslawblog.org, or you can type in the URL that is on your screen right now. Thank you for spending a few minutes with me. I look forward to meeting you on the Veterans Law Blog.